the other kind of movie reveal or yeah, reveal that we got over the last week has got to go down in history for one of the most bizarre and shocking movie reveals ever, but also at the same time, not. And I wanted to talk about it because Disney announced that Pixar is officially making Toy Story 5. Boom. I find this so stupid. I mean, unsurprising, which I'll get to, but Toy Story for me is a very fascinating case study of um, where commercialism outweighs creative integrity and intent, right? Because... We all know the story. We all know the Toy Story. So Toy Story 1 comes out. It's one of the first 3D animated films of all time. It's overwhelmingly critically acclaimed. It makes a lot of money. It's a very popular film. Still to this day regarded as a phenomenal film. A few years later, great, let's do another one. They do Toy Story 2, also a great movie, similar acclaim, similar commercial success. And then Pixar moves on to other projects. Until 10 years later, they announce Toy Story 3. Great kind of... Great kind of uh, thinking pattern with it, though. They set it 10 years after Toy Story 2 so that all the children who grew up watching Toy Story and all the children who were the same age as the boy in Toy Story, Andy, when those movies came out, are now still the same age as Andy. They're now adults. They're now 18, 19, 20, right? Genius. And we've all seen Toy Story 3, again, critical acclaim, commercial success, etc. And I think we can all agree Toy Story 3 was a pretty perfect ending for that saga. And it certainly felt, uh, I guess it, it, it really felt um, like a neat little package to end it. It was bittersweet. It was a very sad ending. It was a very... Um, heartwarming and heart-wrenching ending to that franchise. And I remember seeing it in the cinemas when it came out, I think in 2010, and being like, that was great. Like, what a great fitting closing of this chapter of all of our lives, all of us 90s kids who watched Toy Story and Toy Story 2 as kids, and now we're grown up and we're seeing the third one. Beautiful, just beautiful. So it was to my complete disdain when they announced that they were doing Toy Story 4, which I believe came out three years ago now, maybe. And here am I, I think I talked about Toy Story 4 on this podcast when I went to see it. I think, I mean, it must have been the first season of this podcast. And I remember enjoying it. And I also remember the move, the the, the ending being similar to number three, like heartwarming, heart-wrenching, sad, beautiful, tear-jerking, bittersweet, all of the above. But at the same time, every thought I've had about it since, retrospectively, is that it was just an unnecessary sequel. And I appreciate where it ended up, but I still think it was an unnecessary sequel. But if that's going to be the ending of the Toy Story saga, I am happy with that ending, okay? If you, spoilers, Woody goes to become a free toy, right? No owner with Bo Peep and Buzz and the other toys go back to Bonnie, the the girl that now owns them, I believe. And there's this beautiful moment at the end of that movie where, you know, it cuts, Woody is, Buzz is like, they're going away from Woody and Bo Peep, waving goodbye. Buzz says to infinity, Woody says and beyond. Beautiful moment, end of movie. Okay, I am happy for that to be the final uh, chapter of the Toy Story story, if we must have that. Even though Toy Story 3 was probably a better place to leave it. Now they're doing Toy Story 5. File this under unnecessary sequels. Did a lot of ranting last year on the podcast about unnecessary prequels, but unnecessary sequels, this is one of them. They're also doing a Frozen 3 and a Zootopia 2. Again, two movies I knew two movies I don't want to see and don't care about. That being said, like I I I my friend Dave Lee from Dave Lee Down Under the YouTube channel has also done a mic talks was um, made a really interesting point on Twitter that he actually was copying a lot of flack for, but I gotta say, I completely agree with him. Disney recently put out a movie called Strange World in cinemas, and it was a commercial flop. It is one of Disney's biggest failures. I think it is Disney's biggest commercial failure of all time. 
I bet most of you haven't seen it. Some of you probably haven't even heard of the film because the marketing behind it was terrible. Um, Dave Lee actually did a great video on his channel about how it became the biggest flop of all time. And Dave Lee made this really funny point, and I've talked about this kind of thing on the pod before. He was like, everyone is complaining, including me, everyone is complaining about Toy Story 5, Zootopia 2, Frozen 3. Everyone's complaining about those movies and saying, why can't they have more original ideas? But then when they did put out a movie that was an original idea, nobody saw it and it became their biggest failure of all time which is where I get onto that point of um, commercial integrity versus creative integrity, right? Sorry, commercial gain versus creative integrity because we know in this society, again, money is the ultimate goal. Yes, these movies are here to entertain us, but at the end of the day, they just want, they want to make money. That's their goal. And Strange World in particular is a really good learning for Disney to be like, uh, like if you're a shareholder, you're saying to Disney, hey, no more Strange World, Toy Story's printing money. Frozen is printing money. Make more of that. Those brands are so well known. Those brands are so well loved by kids. Make more of them. We don't want Strange World because we lose money on Strange World. I think they lost $250 million on that movie. So if you're a shareholder or an executive at Disney, you're saying make more Toy Stories, make more Zootopias, make more Frozen, make more Monsters, Inc., make more fucking The Incredibles, make more... The Lion King, you know, that's all they think about. And when these new movies come out and flop, like Strange World did, ultimately it means we're going to get less and less original movies. So I guess if there is a movie that you haven't heard of and is not based on an existing property, go and see it because that's how we keep creativity alive. Now, I'm sure I'm definitely going to see Toy Story 5. Tim Allen has confirmed he's back as Buzz Lightyear, but, and I think that's cool. But yeah, I'm definitely going to see it whenever it comes out. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I just think it's unnecessary. But in the world we live in, that I suppose is the price. 